Hey everyone, it's Tom again from Party Booth USA, going to show you how to do some on-page optimization to help your uh, local photo booth rental company rank for a city. So today we are looking at slapstickphotobooth.com. Just did their website for free. Uh, watch the video uh, previous to this to if you want to learn how to do a, a photo booth rental website for free for yourself without knowing how to do any uh, website design. But uh, right now they don't have any on-page optimization. So I'm going to walk you through every step that I do for this one entire page to rank them for one term. So the first thing we're going to do, make sure we have SEO, um, WordPress SEO installed. If you don't know how to do that, all you got to do is go to add new. Type in WordPress SEO under plugins. Then you go install, but it's already installed for me. And then after you install it, you click activate, just a couple buttons. So in doing so, you create this little thing right here. Long story short, this is an SEO meta title and a meta description. What is that? So if I went photo booth rental in the city she's trying to rank for, Adelaide, it's in Australia. These are meta titles. I want to make sure my keyword, which is photo booth rental Adelaide, um, is in the meta title and meta description, which is a two to three sentences that shows up right here. Without it, Google doesn't know as much about what your web page is about. Long story short, search engine optimization is a process of telling Google what your website is about. It is a robot. It can't figure it out for itself. You have to tell it. So by following the things I'm going to show you, you're actually telling Google what your website is about and what it should rank for. So we're going to do the meta title. We're going to do photo booth rental city that you're trying to rank for, Australia. And you might want to, since it's your homepage, you're going to want to put your uh, brand name in there as well, just so it looks less spammy. Put a little dash. Then you can say slap. Stick Photo Booth is your local photo booth rental company in Adelaide, Australia. We have awesome props, photos, customized photos, and great customer service. As you can see, I went over a little bit, so let's try to make this a little bit shorter. And say, great props. Nope, still not making it. There we go. Now you got slapstick photo booth, your brand in there. You got photo booth rental and the city you want to rank for and the country. Now you also have it in the meta title. As you can see, this is what eventually will show up in Google. Now that's step number one. Step number two is your H1. So I already did an H1 earlier, photo booth rental Adelaide, Australia. So what does an H1 look like? Let's show you. All right, right here. I made it centered just so it looks a little bit nicer by putting the center code right here. But long story short, you need to put a left caret, which is found um, above it, to the right of your space bar, and then H1, and then a caret. Then you put photo booth rental Adelaide, Australia, then a caret, and you close it by doing the forward slash, and then you H1, caret, and again, the center is just to make it centered. So you need this as your H1. Basically, your H1 is the equivalent of the title of a book, but the title of your website. You wouldn't know what a book is about if you did not see the title. Well, Google wants to see the title of your web page by looking at the H1 header. Um, it's the most important thing you can actually put on the page. So you can also put some additional keywords uh, in H2 tags. So it's the same exact thing except for an H2. You can only put one H1 tag per page. So if you need more keywords that you want to rank for, like green screen photo booth rental Adelaide, or um, affordable, whatever, wedding photo booth rental Adelaide, put it in the same exact thing as this, but put a two instead of a one. You can do as many keywords within H2 as you want. All right, next step, picture. So this picture, Google doesn't know what it's about. And I, it's, it's, this is what it's actually called. 
That's really, really ugly to Google. So you want to do save image as. You want to do photo booth rental Australia. I'm going to overwrite a picture. What I did right there, I just right clicked it and said save image as and then renamed it. So now I'm going to go down to that where that image is, which is right here. And I'm going to overwrite it with a new one. So I'm going to get, go ahead and get rid of this image. I'm going to add media, upload from computer. There it is. Open. Now, in this case, I want it centered just because that's what I want for the web page, but it has nothing to do with SEO. I'm going to get rid of this link, full size. Now, I want the title text to be photo booth rental Adelaide Australia, which I just pasted in there. And I want the alt text to be the same thing or the same thing in reverse. Let me hit insert into post. And as you can see, photo booth rental Adelaide Australia is in the name of the picture. It's also in the alt text of the picture. And it's also, um, they did not insert the title text. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it myself by putting title, equal sign, quotation mark, Paste the keyword in there, and you're good to go. So I'm, I'm going to put photo booth right here. So now that takes care of the pictures. Now we're going to look at the actual content of the page, which is this stuff right here. So the first thing you want to do is is Adelaide in the content. It it doesn't appear to be. It only appears to be right here. So I'm going to put Adelaide in the actual content. And it, I'll just put like something proudly serving Adelaide Australia with fun and interactive rentals. All right, so I'm hit update. Now, Adelaide, is it in the content? Boom, it's right there. Now let's see if photo is in this page. Boom, photo is in the page all over the place. Photo booth, one word, is in the place. Photo, photo booth, two words, is it on the page? Let's find out. Very unoften, but Google kind of knows that photo booth, one word, is the same as the photo booth, two words. Now is rental on the page? Yes. Is rentals on the page? Yes. Actually, is rental on the page. We don't actually see rental on the page singular. So we're gonna add, want to add rental. We're gonna want to add um, picture. Is it on there? Nope, because picture is another word for photo. So Google sees it as a site that's a lot about photo booth, even if it says picture. And then you want to say pics as well. You got pics. So we need to add picture and rental. All right, let's do this. Call us today for when renting when renting a booth for your wedding. So we got renting in there, and you get rent in there. Rent today with ease. You guys are more creative than me. Just the point is, put the keywords in there as many different ways as possible. I think I also still need to do a picture. So, control find picture. It's not in the page, so I'm going to replace one of the photos. Clear pictures. Now we have every keyword we're trying to rank for. You might want to put wedding in there a couple times, affordable, cheap, top, and best. It's up to you. But that pretty much covers it. Um, also, if you have a whole bunch of cities that you want to rank for, chances are you should put them actually in the content or at the very bottom. And also, last couple things. If you have a video that's relevant to this page that you have, put um, photo booth rental in the actual title of the video, but also put Adelaide in the video. The video can actually rank on its own. Another thing, you can put like a, a map from Google 
on the page with the address that you're trying to rank for. That pretty much sums it up. Um, another thing, you want to be able to track all this stuff in, with Google Analytics. Basically, it allows you to see what keywords people are typing in to find you, what cities they're finding you in, uh, what websites um, are linked to you that people clicked on to find your website. Basically, everything you need to know about how the web visitors got to your website. So Google, Google Analytics, create a Gmail account, and follow all the directions until it gives you a little script code like this. And in doing so, you're going to want to install it into your website by going to um, Head Metadata, which is a plugin. If you haven't done it already, just type in Head Metadata in the plugin section when you um, click Add New. Go to Options, and it's Include in Custom Content. I'm going to do this. And we're pretty much good to go. You don't need all this stuff. I would probably um, delete most of it. But now Google Analytics is installed on your website. And we, you want to verify this by going visiting your site. Right click it, view page source. Boom, boom. Oh, it's right there. Perfect. Another thing you want to do is go to Bing and Webmaster Tools. So Google, uh, Bing, sorry, Google. Google, <laughs> search for in Google, Google Webmaster Tools. There we go, that was a tongue twister. And then um, you're gonna wanna um, add your site to the dashboard by following the steps. You can upload something through your FTP, you can put a code on your website, doesn't matter. Then once it's activated, then you go um, sitemaps, add new sitemap. And in WordPress, you have a plugin, hopefully already, called SEO, uh, or WordPress SEO. You go to XML sitemaps. You want to exclude everything other than pages and posts. So you click Save to Changes. You click right here. You can see your XML sitemap. You want to submit this page to Google by doing this. Again, we're in the sitemap section. And then you're going to want to take both of these pages. Add that, refresh, then add this one again as well. And then basically a sitemap is a blueprint of your website and basically tells Google these are all the pages and where they exist on my website, go check it out. 